this is Tina, welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited to show you my new storage um, <laughs> the holder thing that I have made. Um, <laughs> I recently have done a video, I'm not sure whether it's up yet, um, making a snippet roll and I talked about a Roman blind that I had um, made years ago in my downstairs toilet and I couldn't find it, didn't know where it was. Well, I dug it out. So obviously I didn't need it as a Roman blind anymore. And originally I was going to use it as a journal cover. And then when I started taking it apart, I just thought, actually, I'm going to use it as a storage um, solution. So if I show you basically what I have done, it's got obviously this wooden dowel in the top, which, you know, clearly that was part of the Roman blind. It's got a couple of hooks here, which again, they were part of the Roman blind. And I have used some fabric that I'd got in Happy Mail to create, I've doubled it. So I've got two like handles basically, so it's a little bit stronger. And then I've used that same fabric to make lots of pockets on the front. I hope you can see this okay. I can just see shadows behind me. Let me switch the light on. I don't think that's making a lot of difference. And then this deep pink, this was from an old dress of my daughter's. So I've basically covered up some of the parts where the dowel is there at the top with some of this. I've left it flapping because I thought if I wanted to pin any bits along there, it would be handy to have that just loose and, you know, flapping. So I've got a variety of, on the top row, I've got five little small pockets. On the next row, I've got here four slightly bigger pockets. On the next row, I've got obviously three pockets. Now they're all pretty, you know, pretty good size, the um, larger ones. The only ones that are quite small are those ones. But the rest of them, and then on the bottom, I've just got two really big pockets. And again, I mean, I've just sort of hemmed them across the top. Well, actually, I didn't even need to hem it. It was, this was the bottom of the dress. So it was already pre-hemmed. Just cut it round with my pinking shears and stitched it on here. So as you can see, I've started using this pocket here, which I thought I would use for my um, paper dolls, my Tim Holtz paper dolls, because the packaging had kind of ripped when I opened it. Um, and then they were all obviously falling out all over the place. So, I mean, to give you an idea of how deep those pockets are, there's a lot of paper dolls stuffed in there. So I thought that was quite a good use. And then I'm going to take here I've got my altered paper clips. Excuse the awful um, filming here. So I've got my altered paper clips that we made in one of the mass makes. Now these are those big ones on the big paper clips. So these I thought would be just ideal to go in next to the paper, paper dolls. Because, you know, as I say, the pockets are quite, quite roomy. So they work quite nicely in there. Oops. I mean, obviously I'm trying to do this one handed, so it's probably not ideal. I probably should have tried to, tried to have my phone somehow attached so that I could do this two handed, because now they're all upside down. But just to give you the gist anyway, um, here I've got some little containers of paper flowers, which I just love these paper flowers. And I thought what I would do is obviously empty these out and pop them into there. So I'll just quickly do that. Okay, so I've emptied them out of the packet and I'm just going to pop them in. I'm going to pop them in just one of the smaller pockets. So again, just pop them all in. Like that. And I don't mind them being kind of all mixed in colour wise, but I mean, obviously we could, you know, colour sort them, but you know, for me, I quite like the eclectic that you just reach in and grab because sometimes then it spurs creativity when you get things that you weren't expecting. So, I mean, as you can see, I've literally used three pockets so far. Here, this is just one of those um, scraggly bows that I made that was inspired by uh, Robin Dudley Howes. So I might make some more of those with some fabric and maybe put those in. I may keep some of my fabric scraps in there as well um yeah i'm really pleased with it obviously it was inspired by my original 
one that I know that I showed this when I did my, you know, messy craft room. Um, so it was inspired loosely by this, which I had picked up years and years ago when I was on holiday in America. Um, obviously, I, I am not that clever. I couldn't incorporate all those numerous pockets, but, you know, that's fine because sometimes we need bigger pockets anyway. But I was just so excited, that, you know, to come up with this. And it didn't really take a great deal of time to make. And I thought another thing that would be absolutely perfect for making one of these would be to just use a tea towel. Um, so, you know, if you've got any tea towels that are sort of brand new and unused, um, it, you know, it would obviously be smaller than this, but it would be perfect because you could just hem the top round, put it on one of those wooden dowels, pop a couple of hooks or, you know, stitch some fabric on for your handles and then stitch some pockets on the front. Um, which I just thought would be, you know, really useful. So I'm going to show you a couple of other storage things that I've been up to lately as well. Okay, so I've been having lots of fun lately making snippet rolls, the fabric snippet rolls. I haven't ever made one um, previously, but I've made obviously a few now. So what I'm going to do is just wrap them, you know, not tightly or anything, but just wrap them like that. And I've got this, which was, it was actually a drum set of my son's when he was much younger and I altered this oh years ago but it looks so pretty doesn't it so I'm just going to keep them in here again these could go into my new pocket um storage thingy that I've hung on the door because actually they you know they would fit quite well in there but I thought that I would keep them in here um you know because obviously they're quite fat when they you know when they're rolled up so I will be able to get quite a few in here whereas otherwise they may take up like a whole pocket in the storage storage unit so I thought let's just pop them in here instead so like that now I have to say my um, actual desk itself is looking absolutely horrific um, <laughs> and so is the floor behind my desk um, or the area behind my desk. So I'm not going to show you all of that stuff because my gosh, it's just appalling, but they're just perfect in there. Now I just have five snippet rolls so far, um, but yeah, they're just perfect in there. So then I'm going to take them over to the shelf. So quite some time ago, after I had done my first video, and I do apologize for the light here, but obviously this is tucked behind my desk, um, you know, right away from the windows or the, the light basically. Um, but I had bought one of these little, it's like a, you know, desk tidier slash letter, um, you know, file system. And I'd got this from Ikea um, shortly after showing my desk all that time ago. And um, I have used it basically to keep all of my, I've got glassine bags in here and also envelopes. So I've got like a whole big stash of envelopes. Some are coffee dyed here at the back, but most aren't yet. Um, and then I've got like a receipt book, which as well I picked up, um, which I just thought was quite fun to use. Again, I have coffee dyed some of these, but you know, as you can see, the majority are still in there. Um, so I thought that was quite a handy way because otherwise I just had envelopes kind of taking over the whole, you know, the whole area really. So that's that piece there. I'm going to move that over. I mean, the only thing is it's kind of in between my two cupboards here. So I'm having to move it, you know, either side every time that I open a cupboard. But I mean, it's fine. It's it's not heavy or anything. And then in my cupboard, these were my absolute, you know, shameful mess previously. But I'm beginning to try and get on top of that mess as well. So in here, at the same time that I bought that envelope storage thing, I bought these, um, what do you call them? Uh, you know jaw storage systems from um, Ikea also and I mean obviously they're really for decorating but I mean I'm very sloppy when it comes to things like that and if they're out of sight where no one sees them I didn't bother obviously as you can see decorating them or anything like that and all I've done is just popped in various things into each of the cupboards so for instance here I've just got some stamped words and things. I mean, I did these a really long time ago, but they're all my little stamped words that I can then just go to the cupboard 
and obviously pull them out. Then, oops, in here, I've got the first lot of um, paper clips that we made in one of my tutorials. So, I've got there, you know, quite a few different things. Obviously, I have a lot of drawers still empty. I'm still kind of in the zone of, you know, sorting out my storage. I mean, I suspect that's going to just go on and on and on forever because I can't really see it coming to an end. But that's those, so I'm kind of pleased with how those are. And then on the other side, I'll show you. Turn this cupboard. I'm only going to show you this half because this half is still not so great. Um, but I've just started to try and organise my stuff a little bit in here. So at the top, I've got some coffee dyed envelopes. I've got my little tiny fabric hand stitched ruffles and some of my little tiny fabric yo-yos and then here i've got some more of those um uh drawers and again i've just labeled them up with what's in there and that's my little my little supplies of glue so yeah really helpful this i think i showed you before it's just my stamps um you know my wood mounted stamps so that's what's in those and then my final item that I'm currently working on um, trying to get a bit organized with is let me just take some of these bits out because otherwise it, it's not going to look too organized um, but basically I am just trying to put these little file folders from my curators collections so I basically printed off a whole bunch of these and I have put in you know obviously I've got the curators collection ones themselves there and then I have used them as well for other things so for instance here I've just stuck over dictionary definitions and I'm putting my dictionary definitions into that one here these are the um, tickets from Caroline's craft tree so again I will just stick a little ticket piece over there so in fact I can do that now Oops. let me find one here so maybe we'll put that one and I will just glue that one on like that and this is very much a work in progress so you know I have got a lot of other pieces still yet to go into these folders but I really am liking having my things you know organized into these folders it's making it much much easier to see what I've got so um, and then what I can do is to make it even easier still is just right on the top so Caroline's tickets I'll just put Caroline's tickets. Like that. And then, you know, dictionary. Dictionary definitions. So that, you know, I can really see at a glance. So, I mean, as I say, it's very much, you know, a work in progress. But hopefully this is going to really help with my organisation. Now what I need to do is obviously clear a space to actually have this somewhere alongside slash behind me. Um, so that I can just reach around and get these. I mean, I've talked before, but under my desk is just the biggest tip um, ever. It has all sorts of rubbish under there. Behind me is just awful. And yeah, I mean, the lockdown hasn't really helped because of course I haven't been posting or anything. So I've been making things and oh, it's all been accumulating. So, you know, I have a lot of, uh, a lot of work still left to do, but I just thought I would share with you some of my things that I'm beginning to um, make a little bit of progress with and um, show you a couple of my little ideas that you know I'm finding helpful to try and start to get myself a bit organized I mean for instance my my fussy cut birds I also just put one of the birds over there just got a couple just hanging out of there let me just put them in so again 
I can just tuck that in. And then all my stuff is there. Just, you know, quite easy to see and get to. I've got my ticket strips here. Um, you know, so I mean, I'm hoping that this is going to be very helpful for once it's all literally organised. But as I say, it's a work in progress and I have got quite a few, you know, things still left to do. And lots of these left to um, cut out and assemble and obviously stick the things over, write the names on and fill with bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, I thought that was quite a, a helpful one. And obviously they fit inside this little container thing from Ikea also. Um, and then the final thing. So the final item that I thought that I would quickly show you um, as part of my kind of trying to get organised. And I mean, I really do emphasise I have got so much left to do. Um, but was this storage system, which again, it's just one of those um, pieces from Ikea. It's like a cardboard, but it's that um, vinyl type covered cardboard from Ikea. It's a pretty good, robust um, and very you know, um, good size, generous storage system. Again, it's kind of for letters or, you know, desk storage or whatever. And I mean, please excuse the mess. Everything is just messy, to be honest, to do with me. Um, but basically, I thought that I would keep all of my half finished projects in here. As you can see, quite a few half finished projects. Um, and this is not the extent of the half finished projects. I have got a whole nother bunch of them um, in my little bag that I take up and down the stairs when I, you know, go downstairs at, in the evening. I, oh, I've, you know, just got half finished things all over the place. So this is not the extent of the half finished things at all. But this is some of them. Um, and believe it or not, I did actually work my way through and whittle this right down. And it has now become jam packed again. Um, but I just thought this was quite a good place, you know, like if I've done things like say in a video and then, um, I want to make further things to go with that or, you know, something, or I need to add lace or I need to ink it or something like that. I would just pop it in here until I then get round to actually doing it. And then I can just pull bits from it and then, you know, work from there. So <laughs> I also have some tea bags here ready to use. Um, these are all obviously, you know, tea stained, um, tea bags cut out, ready to be able to use for decoupage and that kind of things. Um, I've got some paper bags here that are printed and stuff. So, you know, a whole bunch of things, um, that I can fit in here. And as I say, I mean, I'm sure this is not organized to its best, um, capabilities at all. I'm sure it could be much, much better, but yeah, I thought that I would come along and just show you, I was going to say progress that's been made in my craft area, but to be fair, uh, looking round behind me now at my craft area, I would actually say it looks like a bomb's hit it. And to be honest, it's probably got worse than last year. Um, I'm blaming it on the lockdown currently. Um, I, you know, hopefully by the time this video goes out, the lockdown will have finished, but I'm still going to just blame it on that, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I thought that I would come along and just share with you my progress of some of my storage sy um, systems and solutions that I'm working on, um, in the hopes that, you know, maybe some fellow messy desk people might get some inspiration or some ideas of how to store some of their stuff as well. So I hope that you liked everything and, um, yeah, thanks very much for joining me and I will see you again soon. Thanks then. Bye.